guys, Cool Blown Way back. I'm Aaron. Rick. Eric. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. Nine Nine. Where previously, kitties. Guy had legs whole time. Cut off little toe and ate it. What? Bomb diffusing. Oh, that's right. That guy was not paralyzed. He lied. <laughs> I forgot. Now I remember. I'm like, what guy had legs? That was my note. Bomb diffusing. But he had legs the whole time, even if he was paralyzed. He just couldn't use them. Eating of toes to prove loyalty. Yep. Little toes. Yeah. Like the pinky. But you don't only need that one. The Some pinky scientists are saying that, or, or thinking that we're actually going to lose that in a couple thousand years. Mm -hmm. Over evolution. We, not, we don't have that long on this planet. Maybe. Chasing through a subway tunnel back up through a storm drain. Adrian and I got engaged and then we... Wait, what? Engaged? Engaged? Yeah. As in to be wet? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Amazing! We want teats. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but it was... Super romantic. You follow. I'll cut him off in the alley. Okay, wait. You wanna get married? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but yep. wait a minute. You wanna get married? <laughs> yep. I mean, it's exactly what they said. Sure. In order of events and importance. I love Adrian. Every time I see him, my heart just explodes. Wow, that's like some Lionel Richie grade love stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, no, I was thinking all the guys from work, except Chuck. Rosa called dibs on him. Maid of honor? <laughs> yes, a million times, yes! A million times! Co maid of honor, because I am also asking Amy and Gina. Oh, what? If you want to water down your child's spoil with a couple of ice cubes. Count me in, as long as I get eight plus ones. Guys. Eight. He's not exactly stable. Die, man! <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Oh, what have I done? That was how JNC does that. Yep. That's exactly JNC, my fiance. We're gonna smoke cigars. We're gonna look at naked lady. No, Hitchcock, we're keeping it classy. Right, just their boobs. No, no boobs. Fuck, Sarge. Rose. Are you allergic to dolphins? Why don't we just do all three parties? Oh, and then you pick your favorite at the end, i.e., mine. Sounds good. Sounds great. May the best maid win. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's gonna be terrible. Who is yep. Three times. Does anybody need any? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Hello? <laughs> we need to go now. <laughs> okay, just keep that mind open. I'm sure there's a What the hell is going explanation on? For this. Someone's trying to kill me. My clothes, Jake. My clothes. Can we tell them the truth? We play in a league. A league. <laughs> Ow! You're dead. Oops. Well, that's some laser tag. <laughs> Unleash hell. Well, 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 guess I nailed it. Pressure's on, guys. What about the dolphins? Not there yet. I've got an arsenal in my pants. Damn! Guys, game face is on. I don't know what's on the other side of that door, but I know it's gonna be brutal. And it's empty. I can't believe I was wrong. I can't. Okay, look, this was maybe a weird way to start the night, but the good news is we can still make our dinner reservation and no one got hurt. The bus driver. Right. I cut myself real bad. Oh, God. Of course you did. Party's out here. Get a question wrong, you were shot. Oh, and the questions, they're all about Rosa. But none of us know anything about Rosa. Everyone's about to get real hammered. What is my favorite soup? Chicken noodle. Potato leaf. Corn freaking noodle. Oh, Corn noodle. noodle. Damn it. You're all wrong. I've never had soup. Don't bother. They all suck. Drink. <laughs> Battle axe. Uppercut. Disembowelment. Guys, I was a baby. My first word was dada. Drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uppercut. <laughs> first word. I can totally do a handstand. Oh. 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 All right, sure, tonight got off to a weird, rocky start. But you know what else got off to a weird, rocky start? America, and we all love America now, right? Well, it's no Amsterdam. And you know who else we also love? Rosa Diaz. Some of us even love her so much that it makes us act a little crazy sometimes. I would kill all of you for her. Well, that's sweet, right? So let's all raise our glass. Cheers. 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 Wait, didn't we just have a toast? I'd also like to make a toast. Thank you, guys so much for this party it means everything to me and i'm sorry that earlier i went a little off the rails hijacked the bus stole all of your walls to double check your identities what 
But with friends like you, I'm finally starting to feel like. There he is! What? A gun and a picture of Pimento. Hey. Look, I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm also sorry that someone's trying to kill you. But I can really only take ownership for the first part. It's okay, Sarge. I would have doubted me, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a real waiter, man. Hang on, we don't know that for sure. Are you a waiter as well? <laughs> mm -mm. No. Yeah, <laughs> Terry was right. Yeah. So he has no clue what you look like. Mm -mm. Gentlemen? I just thought of a plan. Take a picture of his body. Stage like Pimento's death and go to the meetup ourselves. Great yeah. plan, Sarge. No, I was going to say it first. I thought of it before you did. Whatever, let's just do Sarge's thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a restaurant, specifically La Petite Colon. Oh, I mean, no. small intestine. Because that's all they serve. Oh, man, I was rooting for you. Ah. I don't think I can eat that. Neither can anyone else, which is why they shut it down. We are demolishing it! Yeah! We'll win win! Yeah! That's what you would love. <laughs> Madam, may I offer you the first whack? I've been dreaming about this since I was a little girl. No! That would be a lot of fun. Yeah! I had plenty of people help me when we were doing this to the apartment. And then when we had to rebuild it all, everyone disappeared. <laughs> What's he eating? Colon. Small intestines. And here comes the brains. Spaghetti <laughs> All right, now all you need to do is put some water on my crotch. What? Why? Obviously, because everybody who gets shot pees themselves. No, they don't. That's not true. Actually, he's right. Every single time. I'm just going to take the photo from the waist up, okay? I mean, where are we going to get a tongue? Relax. I'm just going to text Boyle. Boyle, He's know. always eating weird stuff like tongues and chicken faces. Nope. Oh, and he's already texted me back with a top ten list. <laughs> So oh, going to buy them? I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with Adrian Pimento. Wow. My heart is so full. Mamma mia! Rosa and Pimento! What the hell? What the hell? Oh, same ski mask. <laughs> That's awkward. Don't worry about it. Happens all the time. You have the tongue? Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Figgis thanks you. Where's the sicko leading us now? My party bus. That's the FBI building. He's an agent. Wow, oh, Adrian. Your bachelor party sucks, but... You got his burn notice? Jimmy the Butcher Figus has a man in the FBI. And he tried to have Pimento kill. And I cut my other cheek. How? I took the knife away from you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's it? I, I gotta completely disappear. This is my only chance to get away safe. Aww, Jake. Oh, is that what we're gonna do? I need you to tell Rosa that I love her. He's leaving. Okay? Also, tell her this. Oh. Oh, my. Ew. That is very graphic, Adrian. <laughs> Got it. I don't think I can say any of that to Rosa. <sighs> Goodbye, Nine Nine. And with that, I left. Sweet, sweet coffee. Come to mama. Shut your loud mouth, Amy. Some of us have a hangover. <laughs> Man, last night was dope. Did Gina really go to Puerto Rico with that drugstore cashier? What? Yeah. They seem really happy. They really did. He wanted me to tell you that he loves you. Is that it? Did he say anything else? May the Lord be with you. Adrian. <laughs> oh, thank God. Mm. I was burning my fingerprints off in a gas station bathroom when I thought about what Jake said. <laughs> I couldn't leave without seeing you one last time. I want to lick your whole body clean like a kitty cat. Yeah, I'm going to give you two a little space. But I'll be back for you. I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, I will find that FBI agent and I will rip his head off with my bare hands. That is the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. I love you. I love you. Okay? Yeah. I will be. I watched you guys kiss. I didn't know where to look. All right, let's go inside. Okay. <laughs>
Sergeant Jeffords briefed me about the pimento situation. Sounds like I missed a hell of a week. Yeah, the guy was wearing a ski mask, but he had a large scar on his right palm. Huh. I have a similar scar on my back. This mission is top secret. No one can know what we're doing. Detective Pimento's a good man, and he's one of us. Scully there. So let's catch these bastards for him and Rosa. Nine nine. Discreetly, Jacob. Nine nine. Nine nine. Huh? But damn. She got some shit going on. We do. Interesting. I was I wasn't ready for it to go that way. Yeah. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. But it makes sense too, because I wasn't sure that Pimento was gonna stick around anyway, and mm -hmm. it feels like a way of kind of writing him off at least for a while, sure. while things are figured out and stuff. Yeah, but it gives like a little story beat of like we gotta figure out this FBI agent guy and stuff. Yeah, uh, Jake worked for the FBI at one point, right? That's why he went undercover. Mm. Wasn't that the FBI? Mm, yes, it was some government agency. I think it was. I hold this episode to the end. Yeah, not until the very end. <laughs> like I missed a uh, no interesting hope. week. <laughs> yeah, I like the bachelor and bachelorette party ideas, mm. and like doing the bachelorette party and like all the things that they like. This is what Rosa would like. I thought it was fun, though there were no dolphins, but. I was curious what that I idea think that was. she was maybe brainstorming. Maybe. Could be. I don't or understand. She got the answer. The appeal of the party bus it does not speak to me. What do you mean? Well, you can drink on it. You can drink. It's mobile. You can dance. You can go from place to place. It has a TV. You can play games. It has a stripper pole. You have women. You can play Smash. Yep. That's Probably on the TV. Yep. I suppose. You can play Smash. But then you have to get off the bus to do something that's not Smash. Uh, well, yeah, but then you, you're steak. going to the other thing. Like, you go and you have dinner. Steak you go house. and you hit up some, you know, it just depends what you hit up. You go to paintball, whatever Check it is. Check out the toy store. Hmm. Make sure there's nothing new. Yeah. That's just, that's just your method of getting from point A to point B. Yeah. And then you can do whatever you want in there otherwise. It's like what we did in the car, yeah. right? On the way to, like, Con of Thrones. Sure. But imagine that that's on a bus. You have much more room. Bus would be better. You can lay down and do whatever you want. Bus. Exactly. Now you understand. We have swayed him to the party bus idea. Yeah. <laughs> we should go work. Dude, the paintball thing, like, watching them and what they were doing, and Rick's like, like, that's with laser tag. It reminds me, like, at WaveCon, we had, we had uh, one of the WaveCons, a group of us all went to laser tag. And there was definitely, like, a group of the laser taggers who played way too many games. Yeah. <laughs> that were, like, <laughs> super serious, competitive. Much more serious, like, checking corners and moving through and t shooting people and stuff. And then other people who were just dying. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I definitely feel like that's what happened. Like, I feel like there was, like, both sides had, like, some groups of people who were, like, scoring and getting points, and other people who were trying, like, dang, and they got to walk back, respawn, yeah. and come back through again. Like, they got us pinned! And they were, like, were, like, holding corners and stuff. Like, they can't get through! <laughs> like, push, push! <laughs> it was fun. There were definitely some, yeah, children who came in at some point in, like, a group. I feel like they got destroyed. They put them down quick. It's like uh, Neil Patrick Harris and How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> you know, uh, it's definitely fun. I think the only laser tag I've ever played was just like you get like a like a box and it has like a thing and you can go in the woods and play. Yeah, um, the thing yeah, I hate about those is yeah, they you didn't beat. go there at WaveCon, did you? No, I didn't make it a laser tag. I think I showed up at we bowled right after, didn't we? Maybe. Yeah, I, I did not bowling. go to bowling. Gotcha. But yeah, no, I, I had a laser tag set, but yeah, I hated that. Like as you're walking around, it's like beep. Yeah. yeah, I always put duct tape over beep. mine. And it still wasn't enough. It was the so high. Like, why the hell that, does it beep? Like the idea of buying it and getting it and setting it up was more exciting than actually doing it. And it's like, yeah. you might have a little re like reload button on the side and yeah, stuff. Yeah, even I have a set now that's pretty fun, but it still has the beep. Why, Got I duct don't, tape that shit. Why does it have a beep? beep? I don't know. Like, there be a reason. I could probably go and like snip a wire or something, but I'll break the whole thing. You will, and you or you'll take it apart, snip the wire, and never get it back together. Yeah, it's also likely. It was like a. <laughs> Like Jake's gingerbread house here. It's like, yep, that looks like my gingerbread house. <laughs> like, I make a gingerbread house. I do kind of like how the show addressed it. The, the you know they only really have three women on the cast, like main, but they just bring Charles to to kind of even it out, even it out, and everyone accepts it. Yeah, you know, yeah, he was excited. I do think that his party was the best, at least for Rosa. That would be a lot of fun. I, Until I remember, someone like, loses an eye, Eric. Yeah, well, they should be wearing eye protection. Were you there tearing down some of the walls and stuff in our apartment? Not in your apartment. No. Uh, I had a friend move uh, when I was maybe in eighth grade, and we were supposed to just tear all the drywall down in the entire house. So it was like we had the crowbars. We were just hitting walls and shit. It was so much fun. Yeah. But we couldn't, like, demolish the actual wall. 
we were like like the stud and stuff. It was just the drywall. Yeah, ours turned into everything eventually. Yeah, like just it started it with out. like, well, we're gonna take this and this out, and it yeah. turned into like, now we're taking everything out. So it was just gotcha. people just like just bashing things with crowbars yeah. and hammers and breaking everything yeah. out, ripping it and stuff. Then everything got destroyed and demolished, and had to clean it all out. Yeah. Then it was empty for months, but then no one, no one was doing anything to it <laughs> after that part. It was. So, do you guys think that pimento was just uh, crazy? Crazy, or for a second, I thought there was some kind of ploy for the bachelor party when they went into the empty house and there was like plastic sitting up, and I was waiting for like surprise strippers or something. Yeah. You know, I don't know, like whatever it was going to be, but sure. there wasn't. Yeah, but I was... I didn't understand how it worked because it wouldn't have been his surprise; it would have been him taking them to the place where the surprise was. So I don't know. Sure, it didn't make sense in my head either. But I was like, that's what I thought. I thought someone was after him, but I thought it was maybe the Pontiac Bandit trying to scare him away. Sure. From Rosa. Or like someone was following him, but it's actually like they needed to serve him court papers or like some something more reasonable than an actual murder or something. Sure. Or Jeez! I know, it's crazy. Or maybe like inexplicably he had another love interest or someone. Sure. That like loved him before he went undercover. Yeah. Or he was undercover and he married and he has to get divorced uh, maybe. from the undercover. Like, that could have been a thing, too, right? Like, But, yeah, no. I, I didn't think there was someone really trying to kill him until they're like, well, he has a gun in this picture of Pimento. <laughs> and, like, that I don't know what the answer... That solid. I don't know what the answer past that would and be. the guy was like, just like, yeah, I'm an assassin for hire. Oh, well, yeah. You were like Jake in that moment. If I want to hear you talk your way out of this one. Yeah. I'm an assassin. I was hired to kill. <laughs> He, he carjacked the party bus guy, but I don't know if they ever went back and got him. I know, that poor guy. Like, that guy has to just think, like, my livelihood, you yeah. know? He's, or he's, maybe he's, 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 uh, he works for the people that own the party yeah. bus, but... He's reporting that to the cops. Yeah, it was the cops. but they are the cops. No justice. Yeah. Is know? it more like a truck driver where, like, typically they own their trucks and they haul for companies? Sure. Or yeah. is it more of like... A uh, cab driver. Yeah, cab driver, or like a school bus or something like yeah, that, right? Like, they don't typically own what they're driving, they yeah. just drive their so I don't I don't know which way it works I imagine it could go both ways yeah maybe like, I, I, imagine, I wonder like, which one's more common I imagine like a limo driver and stuff is more of like they drive limos from a limo company yeah rather than like they own their limo and do the thing it's like Walmart also has trucks but they mm-hmm. own those trucks yeah it just depends on but a lot of them are like solo like individual entrepreneurs that are I own my truck I pay for it and I do these jobs You've seen over the top, right? No. Damn it. Stallone. He hasn't seen any Stallone. Dude, I really don't know if I've seen any Stallone movie that Stallone stars in, except for The Expendables and Spy Kids 3. Man. Well, you've seen... Uh, he's a star. Right? Such a weird... Star Wars Galaxy 2, he's in that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, he's not a star in that, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. name a starring role for Stallone. I've probably not seen it. I'm trying to think of any that you... All Rockies and seen. all Rambos, I have not. Yeah. Can't think of I mean, so many, there's... Cliffhanger, there's Rhinestone, nope. there's nope. Uh, Tangle and Cash, nope. there is uh, Cobra. Oh, I don't Cobra. know what that is, so no. Cobra. That's that's that's, that's so, so bad it's a good one. Yeah. I can't think of a starring role for Stallone. I know Stallone, and I've seen him. And like, Spike Kids 3, he isn't really, he's like the antagonist and stuff. What about Frank Stallone? Who? His brother. He's also been in many don't, I don't know what he looks like, but I may have watched something he was in. What's in Stallone and <laughs> some pornos? Uh, the Italian Stallion. That's how I he started that. off with, yeah. You see those? Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, then. No. He didn't star, though, I guess. I've not. I don't know. <laughs> I've not. I, I would... I, I, I had heard about that. <laughs> I had never seen those before my time of uh, interests. Before puberty. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of Pimento in a gas station burning off his own fingernails being like... Jake's right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he was using. Probably just a butane lighter, Probably. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Surprise me. How you do it? Don't they normally use like acids or things? Yeah. More than flame. So. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. That that would fucking suck. Oh, yeah, it would. It would be good to not get your fingerprints on things. Yeah, but can't. Isn't the, the trick for that like you use like glue and you put it over it? That way it's smooth, but it still kind of gives you a little bit of a grip. Maybe. And it doesn't actually leave a fingerprint. It just kind of leaves a smudge, but you can't get a print from it. I'm talking more, more like on your devices or whatever. Your monitors, your phone. They have gloves that can do it without leaving smudges, and they work on your phone and stuff. You can do those. They have ones now that... I mean, I guess you could just talk to it, too. To an extent, yeah. You can just be like, hey, Google, play Blind Wave. 
<laughs> Pimento killing that bug definitely reminds me of Jancy sometimes. Sometimes I'll just be like in another room, not us here. But she's never crying over killing it, though, right? No, no, she's glad it's dead. It's like my mom with spiders, but she does not mourn their death. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference, I guess. It's like he's doing that and he's like, it's dead. And he's yeah. like, sad that he's killed something. <laughs> just yeah. shoot it, Craig. Versus spider? all the violence, but none of the mental health problems. The spider? You shoot yeah. the spider? How big is the spider? It, that one was a pretty big one, to be fair. <laughs> I remember just kids stay in your room because dad was over at like a party across the street. Like she was calling him, couldn't get a hold of him, couldn't get a hold of anyone. Just, stay in your room. Why stay in your room? Was it like in between the doors or something? Yeah, so it was the hallway. Yeah. It was my sister's room. There's yeah. like a little strip of wall where the light is. Yeah. It was there. Ah, uh, so like your sister's room, your room, and it's in the wall in between. Yeah. It. So if you guys came out, you might have scared it, but she could see where it was. And then mom's room's on the opposite side. She's up on her bed. And. Th- there, why, why is she up on the bed? It's right there, right? I, I'm, I'm glad she was and didn't come any closer because the shotgun is by the door. And I think she she probably would have done it. So what happened? She finally got a hold of me. He came over and he killed him. Well, uh, we're going into the end of the season here. We need to figure out who this FBI agent is. He has a cut on his hand. I felt like his voice sounded familiar, his so we might recognize him. Familiar? Which might be the worst thing is that we might go and like see a bunch of FBI agents, yeah. and we're gonna be like, it's probably the one we recognize. At first, you know, I thought he sounded a little like John Cena, but John he was not Cena? shaped like John Cena. No, he was not, not at all. You know, would be great is if it was yeah. Bill Hader, and like he it was in that, oh. in that ski mask. <laughs> Bill <laughs> that Hader has already appeared and died in this show. Damn, you're right. He did. Yes. He, so was, he was the. That would be very. He was surprising. the interim like captain or whatever. I forgot. <laughs> it's like not only is he already shut up, but he's dead. He's such a different character. I mean, he was. I completely forgot. Yeah. 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 I don't know who it's gonna be. I went back and I listened again and stared in his eyes. I might pick it out, Maybe. but I don't Blue know. Blue eyes. No, that's the other guy, right? Was the other that was the guy that was. Oh, that was the assassin. Yeah. yeah. He has a scar on his hand. But I'm excited right? to see. Yeah, he has a, he has a scar. And most importantly, we have Holt on our side. The greatest detective slash genius. That's Amy now, right? Is yeah, she I the queen? So. Something like that. Ha ha! Yeah. Yeah. Pass it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. If you want to check out the reactions for the finale, you can. Go to patreon.com slash blindly. You can get up to the next four weeks of Brooklyn Nine-Nine reactions right now. Not just Brooklyn Nine-Nine, though. That's right, because we're just a season. 